And now Drake and Kendrick Lamar have so much beef, their cholesterol is through the roof. Drake and Kendrick Lamar's beef has plummeted to the pits of Hades. Things just got it. <laughs> wow. So on Friday night, Drake drops a song called Family Matters. It's like a three-act song. He, you know, really lays into everybody who's been dissing him. But especially Kendrick Lamar. Basically, he's accusing Kendrick of being like this secret, silent abuser to his uh, fiance who he's never married. They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. And Drake also alleges that Kendrick's longtime manager, Dave Free, is the father of one of Kendrick's kids. So then Kendrick counters. There's an open letter to every member of his family. It's called Meet the Grams, and it starts by addressing Drake's six-year-old son. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. And it gets worse from there. Less than 24 hours later, Kendrick released another song, Not Like Us, where he accuses Drake of being a pedophile. Say, Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell Black One. This is the only thing people have been talking about all weekend. Right. And everyone seems to think that Kendrick buried him. But then, late last night, Drake drops a song and says that basically he's been feeding Kendrick all this misinformation, including the fact that he has a secret daughter. Yes, apparently this was all part of Drake's plan. Drake is saying that Kendrick was thirsty. You know, that's the type of bait that you would take. And he insists there's no secret daughter and he's not a pedophile. So if Drake is feeding Kendrick misinformation, isn't Drake winning? It seems like both of them are winning. Not Like Us is a is a clear banger, but Drake's music is still getting played outside and people are still jamming to it. So who knows when this beef will end, but at least we're getting good music out of it.